We are solving this equation for x. This equation has fractions in it. So as a first step, I will multiply through by the LCD of 2. Now that means the left side by 2 and the right side by 2. And by the distributive property, that does mean then every single term, whether it needs it or not, is multiplied by 2. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll write down 2 times this term minus 2 times that plus 2 times 3 halves is equal to 2 times x minus 2 times 4. Every single term is multiplied by 2. Now notice what happens and be very neat these 2's divide out and I have essentially 1 times 1 or 1 minus 2 times x, that's 2x, plus, notice here the 2's divide out, that's the reason for multiplying by 2, and I have 1 times 3, or 3, is equal to 2 times x, which is 2x, minus 2 times 4, or 8. If you multiply through correctly by the correct LCD, your equation will be equivalent, but will no longer have fractions. Notice I have no parentheses. I do have a couple of like terms. 1 plus 3 is 4, so I'll go ahead and write that as 4 minus 2x is equal to 2x minus 8. Now let's move variable terms to one side, constants to the other. I'll go ahead and move variable terms on the right side just to get out of my usual habit. I'll rewrite the left side, and I'll add 2x. I'll rewrite the right side, and I'll add 2x. The left side, the 2x's subtract out, and I have 4 is equal to, here I'll have like terms, 4x minus 8. Now let's add 8 to both sides. So here's the left side, adding 8, and here's the right side, and I add 8. The left side is 12, the right side, the 8's subtract out, and I have 4x. And then how do I finish solving? I'm going to go ahead and divide the left and right side by 4. Notice on the right side I have x, and notice on the left side I have 3. So x is equal to 3. My solution is 3. Check by replacing x with 3 here and here, and see that a true statement results.